All right, guys, I've got the Bugs 3 Pro. This is the GPS drone for MJX. Uh, they sent us this early prototype to test for them. And let me tell you, I really like it. It is a pretty awesome drone. Right off the bat, you can see I've got a nice camera mount with some dampeners. That's going to help with Jello. I've got the C6000 camera with the upgraded app. Uh, this is a 1080p camera. It's going to send me telemetry and things like that. Uh, the motors on this guy are bigger and better, probably more efficient. Um, and it has a handful of flight modes. It's got orbit, it's got follow me, it's got return to home, and you can even fly waypoints on this thing. So I am very excited. And like I said, this is an early version and it's already pretty darn solid. Uh, so why would you buy this instead of a Bugs 2? Well, stay tuned, we'll tell you. So the first thing we'll do is take a look in the box for the Bugs 3 Pro. Uh, you can see that we've got a two cell battery, 7.4 volts. Uh, we've got some big, bigger motors than the original Bugs 3, like I said before. Uh, our version came with a 720p camera, but we also picked up the 1080p camera. That's the nice thing with this Bugs, is you can switch between the two. Now, you saw we got some props, we've got a uh, cord for charging, and we've got a nice mount for that camera with some tape to kind of keep it in place. Uh, this here is to hold our smartphone and uh, the rest of the charger. Plug that in. Now you see this is a proprietary battery, so you cannot use it with your other Bugs batteries. Now the remote is pretty nice. Uh, the dial there doesn't work, but the uh, switches certainly do. Now we'll put this thing together. You can see it does require some screws. Thankfully, they come in the box. Uh, as does this tiny little screwdriver. The uh, mount will kind of snap on, and uh, then we put the camera on, clips into place, and it holds nicely. Now, the advantage of the Bugs 3 Pro over the Bugs 2, and even the Bugs 5W, is that you can swap out that camera. If you have a GoPro um, or another action camera, you can use it in that mount, and it works pretty well. We suggest the GoPro Hero 4, as really the top-notch option, but this is a solid camera. Now we can see it in the air. It is pretty darn stable. After all, it is a GPS drone, uh, which means it has some awesome flight modes, um, which we'll talk about here in just a second. Now here it is. You can see it flying pretty stable. We've taken our hands off the remote. There it is next to the 5W and it will just kind of hover there in place. Now this is a look at the app, which is fantastic. This really does help make the drone. So this is some video footage from the C6000. That's the 1080p camera. That's the best one you can get with this model, unless you get creative, which is what we're gonna do here. Uh, you see it kind of shakes a little bit. So what happens if we put a Wakara 2-axis gimbal and our own action camera? Can we get better footage? Well. Yes, you can. With the gimbal. All right, so you can see that that camera is staying stable as we move the drone back and forth. Uh, that's the whole purpose of the gimbal, to get a little bit more stable footage. Now we're going to take off, uh, we're going to send it out over the fields, we're going to chase the horses a little bit. Now you can see that it's not perfect, there is still some vibrations, uh, but it is doing a nicer job of keeping it smooth. You can also tell that this picture is definitely better. This is a better camera, better picture, and if I wanted to, I'd, I could even get audio. Now I'm going to hear a lot of buzzing from the drone. But this is not a perfect combination. It is a little heavy, and you can see here it weighed the drone down. I was trying to get it up, uh, but it crashed. So keep that in mind. Not a perfect solution, but still uh, something you might want to try. Hey, thanks for watching. Uh, we hope that you enjoyed the video, and don't forget to check us out on halfchrome.com.